Welcome to the Usage Meter End User Reporting Demo. End User Reporting is a usage meter feature that enables service providers to calculate and report monthly usage by individual customer or tenant. A one-time setup task is required in both Usage Meter and iAsset. In Usage Meter, customers and rules are configured, and in iAsset, end users are created. End User Reporting is a two-step process. In Usage Meter, a customer monthly report is generated, the customer data is then entered into the iAsset portal. In this video, we will configure, generate, and enter end user data. Let's start with Usage Meter. The Usage Meter Reports tab allows a user to generate different types of reports on demand. Most users are familiar with the monthly usage report that lists overall usage by bundle. The Units to be Reported column contains values that are entered into the iAsset portal. The topic of this video is the Customer Monthly Usage Report, which breaks down the overall usage numbers across a set of defined customers. Before we run the report, we need to define the customers we want to see in the report. On the Customer tab, we can define customers within Usage Meter. In this case, we can see there are two customers already defined. If Usage Meter is configured to meter a vCloud Director server, then it automatically creates a customer for each organization found in the vCD server. We can add new customers by pressing the Add button. For each customer, we enter a name, country, and postal code. We can also mark the customer as restricted if we have arranged for a numeric code to represent the customer for privacy reasons. Next, we press the Rule button to define mapping rules. The Rule Editor enables the easy creation of rules. The inventory displays the vCenter servers being metered by Usage Meter. We can define different ways of mapping the VMs that belong to each customer. The Rule Editor helps us create each rule. For Customer A, all the VMs for the customer are located in a single folder named Tenant A. We simply select the folder in the inventory and the Rule Editor configures the rule. Pressing the Create button defines the rule. The VMs that will be selected by the rules are displayed by pressing the Displayed Mapped Virtual Machines button. Let's add a second customer. For Customer B, we will assign several VMs by their name since they are not located in a single folder. We press the Rules button to define rules for the new customer. We then locate the first VM in the inventory and create a rule. Then we will locate the second and create a second rule. Again, we can see the individual rules and we can verify the map VMs. Next, let's look at the customers and rules created automatically by Usage Meter to represent vCloud Director organizations. This rule selects VMs in a specific folder. The folder is located under the VCD cell portion of the inventory tree. The Displayed Map VMs button shows the VMs in the organization that are selected by the rule. We also have the option to export and import customers and rules using the Export All and Import buttons. The generated text file can be exported to backup rules and imported into Usage Meter to restore rules during upgrades. Note that for each rule that is imported, the target inventory must exist or the rule will not be imported. At this point, we have configured the necessary customers and rules needed to generate customer monthly usage reports. The report breaks down the usage for the month by customers that we've defined. If Usage Meter is metering a desktop as a service instance, then the usage is also broken down by DAS tenant. In the DAS case, Usage Meter has automatically defined customers and appropriate rules. Next, let's log into the iAsset portal and enter the monthly data. We need to do a one time setup to create end users in iAsset. This task must be performed by an administrator. We create an end user for each customer that will be entered into the monthly report, entering at minimum a customer name, country, and postal code. Once the one-time setup is complete, then each month we select the correct monthly usage report and enter the values from the monthly usage for the totals of each bundle type. 
based on the bundle, a point multiplier is used to calculate the total utilized point. In this demo, we don't show the entry for the data's usage since it's entered into a different contract, but the process is the same. In the next step, we allocate the total points across the defined end users. We enter the data for each customer from the customer monthly usage report. And if needed, we can define new customers on the fly. Let's add customer C to represent the VCD organization that was not defined when we initially added customers. In the final step, we commit our monthly entries and the process is complete. This also completes our video on end user reporting. Thank you for watching.